self-care tips would you give to others with dementia? Well, we we said keep active. Yeah. Um, keep in contact with other people. And you need mental stimulation. So um, we both do a lot of reading. Um, I do a lot of puzzles. Stan does his jigsaws. Um, we play the board games that we've mentioned in the past. Um, we have a lot of fun with those actually. We don't do it every day, but when some some mornings we when we're yeah. having our coffee, <coughs> we'll play um, what do we play rummy cub, um, triominoes, and it's quite competitive as well. I can imagine down in Goring how competitive that can be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. I do like triominoes. Yes, yeah. you mentioned that before. And, and I mean, do, do you think that one of the things I was thinking as well, it's not so much around self-care, but I know both of you never had a problem with telling other people. You were always very open with people and you thought that was not just beneficial to yourselves, but beneficial to them as well, mm. to know that yes. you had dementia and Joan, you're supporting Stan. Mm. Do you still think that as well? That yes. Just, oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. definitely. I think what's the point of, of you, you, it's no good being in denial. That won't get you anywhere. No, no. You have to keep positive thoughts in your head. Mm. And um, it's you can't pretend it's not going to go away. You've got to live with it. So what, what's the point? You, you've just got to get on with your life. Yeah. And, and make, the best, make the best of it, really. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, during lockdown, we've all felt the lockdown in different ways. So what helped you most during the lockdown earlier this year? What did I, what did I Playing say? Playing board games, watching the world go by. Playing board games and watching the world go by. Okay. Because I can look out our bay window, or not bay window, but look out our big, big window and watch everything go by. I can watch all the people walking by, the traffic. I had the window, well, because the, the weather was so lovely, yeah. I had the window open as well. And what also helped as well, I come from London. Yeah. And I am so used to traffic noise. Mm. And there's, I get a buzz from it. But obviously, when, when the lockdown, everything sort of stopped a little bit, didn't it? Well, it did. Yeah. Right, to a point. There was always a little bit of traffic. You were shielding as well. Yes, that's right, I was. So I didn't really go out. I had no exercise, apart from walking around the flat, you know, uh, doing bits and different things. Mm. Um, and, and the other exercise was playing ball games. Yeah if you can call that exercise. <laughs> Moving your hands, yeah. <laughs> I was out every day, only for about an hour. Yeah. Um, but it was not, and although you couldn't, you couldn't get into conversations with people, you saw other people, and everyone was very, I think, you know, very much down here, we're all in this together. People would say good morning. Um, everyone seemed to be more friendly somehow. Um, and, it was nice that people, they, we all sort of respected each other's space and did our utmost to, to do the social distancing and everything. Yeah. Yeah, get away from the old man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? You know, when you're together 24 seven. As yeah. you're supporting someone with dementia, what do you do to make sure you're looking after yourself too? Well, that's one aspect of going out walking. As you know, I do the Tai Chi as well. Yeah, um, yeah. And that, I find that very calming. Because mm. um, it, it, the whole situation has been very stressful for everybody, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I think you need you need an outlet. It's all to do with your breathing and everything, mm. which, which is supposed to calm you. So that I found that very helpful. Um, I read a lot. Yeah, um, what sort of books do you read, Joan? What sort of? I I like crime thrillers. I like psychological thrillers. I like historic. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a wide range, really. 
and that's it's a second form of escape really because while you're reading and you're engrossed in a story you're not thinking about no, everything no. going on in the all world. the blokes sitting in the other <laughs> sofa <laughs> <laughs> Using things not only that you enjoy, but you feel as though they do have a bit of an end product. Like you said, it calms you down, it makes you, the Tai Chi is very calming. And, mm. But also reading relaxes you and puzzles keeps your brain active. So, yeah. yeah. What do you both do during the winter months to stay well and keep active? Yeah. I, I, as, as Joan says, I, I, do, I do read a lot. I'll probably yeah. read about a chapter or maybe two chapters. Um, and then I, I, put, I get fell up, I get a bit bored and I put, I put it down and I just go to sleep. So that's how, that, that would be your tip to everyone during the winter months to stay well and keep active, have a snooze. <laughs> have a snooze. In a way though, surely oh, yeah. you feel refreshed when you wake up. I do, I, I do. How I, I, I could, it could be anything from say like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, to maybe an hour. It depends, you know.